Hey, so here we have, I hope I put these in order. Maybe I should just say make over one, two, three, four, five on the videos when I'm loading them in. But this is absolutely one of my favorite American series. Um, I It was the one that I actually caught the full Japanese series when I started watching the Japanese series. So when I finally got high speed internet and could start watching, look at how dusty that is on top. Um, when I started watching the Japanese series, um, it was like, Okay, I caught half of Deco Ranger, which is like SPD, and then I caught all of this series, and it was so funny. I loved the two girls in it that were the, uh, they became, they merged into the Vampire Queen, whatever. Man, this is super dusty. I think there's supposed to be some, oh, there's supposed to be little wings on here. Now, well, if they're in here, they're at the very bottom. Ooh, look, I got that. That's cool. All right. They're at the very bottom. But... He's just a brick and he's very hollow on the back and all he does is move his arms. He came in a set with these little, um, looks like things you'd put on the top of a birthday cake. They were like little posed action figures of that, of the series. And I think it was called, uh, <laughs> I know it's Magi Ranger, but I'm trying to think of the American name because I did not like, in the, in the Paris, in the Paris, Mystic Force, that was it. I remember it was the first one to do rap. I'm like, what are you doing rap for? Oh yeah, because all the kids are into rap now, whatever. So yeah, it was Mystic Force in America, and this is an American one. But before I even got this, I did order off of the uh, Hobby Link Japan, the little one that was about this size, and all the pieces actually turned into like it was little, it was the like Kabaya toys, like candy toys, and um, they turned into little Megazords or the Zords, and they formed the Megazord, and it was like amazing. It was amazing and small, and this is super dusty. All right, so hope you guys enjoy seeing my really dusty Megazord that doesn't do anything at all. I keep wanting to pull out this part, but it doesn't pull out. Nothing on here pulls out. I wonder if, you know, if I get my hot glue gun, no, nah, that might warp it. That's a lot of glue. But does anybody out here actually fill this stuff in on your own? Um, I, I saw some sets on eBay, not for this, but for Transformers that fill in those little hollow bits. It was like 99 cents free shipping. I'm currently a high bidder on one of them, which I don't know if I'll, if I'll get outbid or if they'll pull the thing. Because I bid it on one, it disappeared, and I was like, because it only had like about a few hours left and I guess the person got disappointed or they didn't want to sell it. I don't know. But um, yeah, if there's that much hollowness to something, do you just, I mean, I usually don't care because like it's only going to see it from the front. But do you ever fill it in? What do you fill it in with? Because I got some low temperature uh, glue sticks that I just bought to do something with. And I was thinking, I bought some glow in the dark ones. And I'm like, I'm really itching to do something glow in the dark now. But I don't know why. What would you use glow in the dark glue for? And I was thinking, hmm, I wonder if I could just fill it in. Or that's a lot. I mean, I can do a lot of glue in there. Or what if I do this, like put some packing peanuts or something in there and then put the glue on top. Well, that would actually eat it up. Just let me know how in the world do you deal with this? Does this bother you? Um, do you fill it in with other things? Um, do you use putty? What do you, anybody out there use to fill in gaps and stuff? And this, there are two yellow wings that are probably in the bottom of this crate. Yeah. Ooh, white tiger's work, one of my favorites. Uh, ooh, there's another bag. Oh, and there's somebody from the, uh, it, this did not come with it. This was a Happy Meal toy, I think. So yeah, yeah, this is um, when you roll it. Since we're doing that one thing, I guess I can do two things in one. See how the, the broom part on the end, it's supposed to be like a broom. It's like a, they're supposed to be like wizards. It was going for that whole Harry Potter thing. I think that's what they're trying to get into that spins which is supposed to be the ignition which kind of looks like a giant broom thing and on some of them they had stickers on the front so i don't oh those were the actual ones you bought this is actually technically a happy meal does it give the year it gives nothing on it. it doesn't even say mcdonald's maybe it was a burger king one i kind of feeling it was a burger king one whoa all right just looking at, just looking at those any other ones real quick all right, y'all have a great day and let me know what you guys think. Which is your favorite um, Power Ranger Mystic Force or Mega Magi Ranger? Which was your favorite character and which was your favorite Zord that combined? Hmm, that's a hard one for me. The fairy was small, the Taurus was big. They all just worked really well together. I always thought it was a really cool Megazord. I didn't like the helmet though. It was like really, it was like a witch's hat. I know it's supposed to be. It's a wizard. Bye.